taxidermist now is going to be restoring these giant products, which are very delicate mounts. That's pretty neat how the light comes through them like that. Other than the ears, the jackrabbits were in great condition. They were a little faded, uh, especially the antelope jackrabbit. So what I did is I, I took a little color and did restore a little of the color to the head, the neck, to make the white eye rings around it pop a little bit. Some of the markings now just jump out a little more. But other than that, it was a fantastic mount. Jackrabbits uh, and rabbits in general are one of the most difficult animals to taxidermy. So to see that these were in such great condition for that time's method and materials is just amazing. The main problem with the antelope jackrabbit uh, was the condition of its ears. They had suffered significant structural damage in the presence of deep wrinkles and indentations. This was caused by the removal of the front surface of skin, which was done during preparation, apparently to allow more light to shine through the backs of the ears. Another problem with the ears was that they had suffered significant hair loss, and this is what we had to fix during restoration. This is Julia Sabalski, who is another conservator working on this project, and this photograph shows her installing the hairs delicately by hand. But I'm going to try to go around those veins. Oh, yeah. And keep those veins. There. Yeah. Jackrabbits are known for having these very distinct veins they run right down the center of their ears. And that's the one thing I wanted to put in there. When we first started removing old material, we actually noticed that the original artist had the veins in there, but they had kind of faded and gone away over the years. So, of course, not only wanting to make it accurate, I wanted to be true to the original artist and put those veins back in. And that, to me, just says jackrabbit when you look at the ears. Yeah. So, look at how beautiful that is. With the yeah, light well, control. that's what they look like out but there. That's huh? gonna... The interior of the ears of those rabbits is very thin. They have a very transparent skin. The light passes through and creates this beautiful orange pink glow. The lights are shadowing the ears in such a way that painting them like I normally would, would not work. So then I tried to decipher some sort of way to create light and paint in the light that was hopefully going to look like it's passing through. And it was, it was very difficult. But in the end, uh, I'm not ashamed to say, I repainted them several times and finally, finally hit on something I was very happy with.